Well, I think it helped a lot that we were, we had uh, a couple of years, or actually many years uh, of experience in the music industry in Sweden before Roxette happened. I, I was 29 years old when, when we had our breakthrough. Marie was 30 years old, so, and, and I started out when I was 19, so uh, I think that helped a bit. We had our own uh, business organization together already, you know, publishing and everything. Uh, so, so it wasn't like a, we never really felt like uh, one hit wonders because we, we didn't really expect us to be any wonder at all. <laughs> so it, it was just like, I don't know, I think every person who gets uh, gratification or you know, getting success uh, race to the game, so to speak, and that's exactly what we did. When, when Look Sharp uh, sold like 10 million copies or so, and when I, I started uh, writing the next album, uh, which was Joyride. Marie went away to do her Swedish solo album, so she worked with another producer and another partner, and I wrote Joyride, uh, and I was just like on top of my game, because I knew that, hey, if, if we had these four fantastic smash hits, from Look Sharp, and then It Must Have Been Love happened from Pretty Woman before Joyride. Uh, you know, I, I could basically do anything because people like what I like, you know. Mm -hmm. So I wrote all these songs uh, on a high. I wrote Joyride and Spending My Time on the same day, for instance, which is when I look back, it sounds impossible, but it is actually true. <laughs>